And now, Freelance Heroism presents Return to Ravenloft. Hey everybody, welcome to Freelance Heroism. My name is Deese. And I'm Rachel. And before we even get started, we just want to say thank you to everyone out there who donates at the Patreon, in particular those who donate at the producer tier. Yes. Rachel, Mm -hmm. would you like to let us know who they are? I would love to. We want to say thank you to Duncan, Crispy, Nate, Breakmeister, and Rebecca. Thank you so much, everyone. You help us make a better show for everyone, and Mm -hmm. we couldn't do it without you. So thank you. Thank you. Rachel. Deez. We've had vastly different experiences in the last week. (laughs) That's Uh, fair. You have been painting something that you hate. Uh Uh-huh. And you could easily have stopped at any point, but you decided (laughs) not to do that. I'm not Uh, entirely certain why that is, but... uh, Uh, Yeah, I would say not... And you phrasing it as for the last week um is not true i've been painting these minis off and on for the last six months i would say well Uh, fuck that (laughs) if if not longer um and i basically told myself that i wasn't going to start any new mini painting projects until i finished these which is why it's been months and i haven't painted anything else but why did you i mean were you selling them no, I'm not selling them. We're using them in a game. Uh, nope. The part of the game that they appeared in, I already used them, and they were like not painted when I <laughs> used them. Okay, so <laughs> there was no reason to do it. You just did it, yeah, as like a punishment to yourself for nothing. I, so I started painting them. These minis, by the way, they're uh, Remoras. Yeah. Uh, one which, of the worst D and D mobs. Which yeah. is. They're basically like big centipedes with like little frills on their necks. That live um, in the cold weather. They live in the cold weather. They're they bugs. G- they generate heat from within their body. Uh, if you look at them in the monster manual, they are the ugliest looking creatures. Uh, they're just like like primary colors, red and blue. <laughs> That's like pretty much all they are. Uh, and so I bought four of them to paint and pretty much immediately after I started painting them I was like I've made a huge mistake yeah this is horrible uh the minis were like in one piece with the base so it was very difficult to get like all the little legs painted to get the rock that it's sitting on top of painted um all of these but- like individual little plates but this whole time, all of those mm-hmm. factors that led to you, like, <laughs> hating it. Yeah. Any one of them could have been the straw that broke the camel's back, so to speak, and just it's made true. it so you didn't finish painting them. And nobody yeah. would have cared. That's Because correct. the game had, that involved them was already passed. Mm-hmm. You hated doing it. So I it's did. not like you're going to feel happy about it afterwards. Yeah, yeah it's true. Uh so, I also tried really hard to like make each one because three of the models are the same exact model. So uh, I tried very hard to kind of try out different painting techniques and also to give them different patterns to differentiate them from one another. Uh, yeah. I did I did a lot of work uh, and I hated it the entire time. Well, that's <laughs> good that you did that, I guess. <laughs> What gum- what gumption? I just... Uh, I knew that, like, if I didn't paint them now, I was never going to paint them because I hate them. And, and um, nothing would have changed in your life had you not done that. That's right. correct. But I still felt like right. I need to paint these. And then I don't have to, like... And then in the future, anytime I look at them, I don't have to be like, oh, I never finished those. Yeah, but, but you now- would- <laughs> you could have. You wouldn't have said it like that. You'd have said it like, "Oh, I'm so glad I didn't finish those." <laughs> I know. I could have also just thrown them in the trash or donated yeah. them to like to anywhere the trash. to the trash. So the trash lord. <laughs> I could have left them outside for some yeah. kid to find and take home. Don't put um, that on those kids. <laughs> Don't put that pain on them. 
Um, but instead, I like I said, I, I tried out some different painting techniques. I added like snow effects. I okay. added like some dead grass. I used like glue to get them like spittle flying out of their mouths. I did a lot. Yeah. So there is there is that though. There <laughs> is like I've drawn multiple pieces in my life that yeah. I thought were really good. Uh-huh. And then there's a bunch that I've thought this is a piece of shit, but I'm on a deadline, <laughs> right? Yeah. Uh-huh. And uh, I'm just not happy with the way it looks. And there's something freeing about that where it's like, I can get really experimental now. And what mm-hmm. am I going to do? Make it look like shit. <laughs> it already <laughs> looks like shit. So, I mean, there is that. Yeah. Which I think is sort of freeing in a way. And sometimes you can surprise yourself at the end. Mm-hmm. Learn something you weren't expecting. So, I, okay, fair enough. Yeah. If you like, if you were to line them up, because I painted them fully one at a time, and yeah. if you were to line them up from the first one that I painted to the last one, I think you can definitely see an improvement in technique. But I will not be going back to improve the first one. <laughs> no, obviously not. Um, but I, I don't know. I just like nobody was forcing me to to paint these. Right. Nobody cared whether or not I painted them. Uh, no, I'm with you. Nobody cared that they were half painted when I used them in my game eight mm-hmm. months ago. Right. You know, uh, I am the only one who made myself do this, and it's I, like when you, I don't know why. <laughs> this is the same thing as when you read a book and you hate it, and uh-huh. you're just like suffering through, it, but you still read the whole thing. Um, well, it depends. Yeah. If it's I like a torturous <laughs> thing. <laughs> if I truly hate reading a book, then I will stop reading it. But there are some books that. I'm like, this is stupid, but I want to read it so I can make fun of it the entire time. <laughs> that's fair. <laughs> mm. um, but yeah, that's that's uh, that was my week was like finally finishing them. And then like I photographed them and then put them up online to be like, look, no one cares. But look what I did. <laughs> look at my torture. <laughs> yeah. So nice. what, have, what have you been doing for this last week? Oh, um, I've been playing Star Wars in the Second Story remake. Uh-huh. Uh, which, let me tell you, <laughs> there's I, I don't generally like the remake culture where everything's getting remade, right? Yeah. Some things um, have been, it's su- such a long time and the world like doesn't know much about it anymore. Uh-huh. So they're good to be remade at that point just to keep it kind of in the mix. You know what I mean? Like I think the Final Fantasy VII remake is excellent. Mm-hmm. And the reason I, I like it so much is because there's a whole generation of people, yeah. younger people, who haven't played Final Fantasy VII, and that story could not be more relevant to now. Mm-hmm. Um, another story, or another game that I thought should have been remade maybe a while ago, and I guess it was at one point, but it was kind of a shitty remake, mm-hmm. um, was uh, uh, Star Ocean, the second story, right? Which uh-huh. is such a fucking good game. Yeah. It, if you're a systems nerd, I <laughs> highly recommend it. Uh, a bunch of like, I'm, I hate to be dismissive of gamers or whatever, but Andes are, are, are casuals, right? <laughs> Got this game thinking, oh, cool, an RPG, I'm going to play that. Uh-huh. And I read some things on there where they're like, this game is too hard. This game is, <laughs> you're, you're just getting to your ass beat left and right. And I'm like, guys. You're just not prepared for it. You gotta like, you gotta go in thinking, I'm going to wreck this game. Mm-hmm. I'm going to make it my proverbial bitch. <laughs> <laughs> um, I I liked it the first time. The first time I played it, it was hard for me, uh-huh. right? Yeah. Uh, back in the day, mm-hmm. and I it was it was just a hard game. Um, but then you kind of get used to how complicated and difficult it is. And you start looking for ways to min max. And this is like my first, I guess, real big foray into granularly boosting your power level. Yeah. Um, so I had done a, a serviceably good job my first time playing it. Mm-hmm. Maybe a couple of years after that, I played it again and I knew kind of what I was supposed to be doing from the start. Yeah. And I just fucked that game up real bad, right? <laughs> mm-hmm. I like it was it was pretty brutal how effective I was. So now all the way forward to today or to this <laughs> week, right? I get this game, and I think it was within three hours. I had some weapons that 
I definitely shouldn't have had that early in the game. <laughs> you remember how much damage. Yes. Yeah. It um, was ridiculous. Yeah. So you've been watching me play it. Mm-hmm. Uh, and at one point, my damage was approaching the 9999, right? Which is the damage cap. Yeah. It was uh, sort of consistently. Yeah. Every every attack I was yeah. hitting for 99. Basic yeah. attacks like 999. Mm-hmm. And so I was like, um, I need to get this item here called the Pierce uh, manual. And once I get Pierce, then I can break my damage total and go up into the 99999 bracket range. Right. Which is, this is how this game works, guys. Like, <laughs> it's, just a, <laughs> it's, it's granular and mm-hmm. fucking, um, it's a lot of math and kind of clever gearing and shit like that. Yeah. Um, so once I broke that damage limit, now the next goal is to hit all nines, which mm-hmm. is not easy, but I will definitely do it. I, I just hit, what is it? It's been like, what, four days? Uh-huh. I just hit 62. Yeah. Si- six, or no, it was six, six, two, forty. I think yeah. is the damage. What was funny was that, like, I was watching you play a little bit before we started recording, and you had showed me And you were at like 40,000 something. And then you kind of messed around with some like formation or like some different things. And then you went out and then it was like, oh, 66. (laughs) Like, yeah, you just jumped up 26,000 more damage. Yeah. Yeah. And it's going to I'm going to do it again, too. Here's the thing. Like my uh, Claude was not my main character because I needed to get Dias. So Uh I needed to play Rena. Right. Whatever. Um, But Claude hits pretty, pretty hard. Mm-hmm. But his numbers are... He's higher level, too. He's, like, level 130. Yeah. And it, by the way, the level goes up to 255. It's uh. awesome. Okay, so... <laughs> so he's at, like, 130. We're a little more than halfway-ish. Mm-hmm. Um, but Dias is hitting so fucking hard. He's, like, a hun- level 108. And he's hitting so fucking hard. That mm-hmm. little... That diving um, Phoenix move... Yeah. ...is doing, like, 40k... His sword oh automatically crits. It uh-huh. guarantees a crit. Mm-hmm. I've got it now where I'm completely immortal. I can't die on two of those characters. So mm-hmm. everyone else can die, but just not, you know, Dias and Claude. The two guys dealing insane amounts of damage. They're having a little, I'm having like a rivalry with myself to see which one <laughs> I can get stronger. Claude hits with the star shots right now. So he's doing more kind of like hits. Mm-hmm. And he can heal himself at will and doesn't, he's immune to everything. So yeah. that's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, you saw me gain 11 levels fighting a boss that I was <laughs> not supposed to fight at that point, but I was just immortal. So, yeah. Yeah. I love this game. <laughs> well, I'm going to a- beat it so thoroughly on this first <laughs> playthrough. Like, on the first playthrough, I'm going to beat it so thoroughly. I'm going to be hitting nines across the board on everything. I'm going to have mm-hmm. nines across the board for mana and HP. Uh-huh. All my stats are going to be bonkers. I'm going to have every skill maxed before I go to fight the final boss. Wow. Yeah. And then I'm going to save. I'm going to save my file, my new game plus file. Uh-huh. And I'm not going to touch it. I'm going to go back in maybe two, three months. And I'm going to hop back on. I'm going to play as Claude this time. Ah. Uh, go, uh... Uh, opera or opera and um, fucking Ernest mm-hmm. this time. And I'm just gonna put it down here. Nice. Yeah. Well, I'm having fun watching you play. So. Yeah. Yeah. And you just finished twelve, which is pretty impressive. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Twelve was really good, and then I started seven. Yep. which I'm also having a good time with, especially uh, after some of those graphical upgrades. <laughs> the mo- they have all these, like, so it's voice acted now, mm-hmm. the original Seven. Yeah. It's got new uh, kind of graphic overlays and stuff. It's so much better looking. It's mm-hmm. a 60 frames per second mod that lets it so so much better. If you haven't yeah. played Final Fantasy Seven, now's a great time. Mm-hmm. You can buy it online for, like, six bucks <laughs> and then mod it for free to hell and back it and make it look like a whole new game yeah it's pretty awesome mm-hmm. anyway i'm sorry but my week has been frantically <laughs> like save craft reload craft reload craft 
today I, I literally had to change one ring to get mm-hmm. this 120 buff on it. And I recrafted it with two wizard gloves that apply poison and three stacks of shrimp. <laughs> Swear to God, it's perfect, perfect numbers. You put, you put a little it. shrimp in each finger of the gloves. Yep. Yeah. And then I crafted it and it came out wrong and I reloaded and I put the shrimp back in and I did it again <laughs> and it came out wrong and I reloaded and I did it again. Yeah. And I did that. What, what was it for the sword when I was trying to get the HP 20 on? You did that a lot for like three hours worth. Yeah. For a few hours, I was painting a new mini, which I'm having a lot more fun painting. But um, yeah, you were doing that for a while. It's I'm telling you, if you like the granularity, if you like the flex of look how much fucking damage I'm doing, mm-hmm. go get Starish in the second story R uh, and just enjoy it. Yeah. It's really great. And you can fast travel now, which is a fucking godsend. I'll tell you. <laughs> hey, we should, we should get to the episode. Sorry. Okay. Well, this is Return to Ravenloft, Season 3, Episode 10, Holy Ship. Holy Ship. <laughs> That's a great title. I'm also trying to keep track of fucking everything Victor's doing in the other side of the fucking mirror oh. as you guys are keep going in your taste. Yeah. I'm having to keep that going too. Okay. And then all the other little contenders for dark lotus they're moving around the map doing little oh, things oh no all these little pieces so, moving on a board yeah that, that's been fun all right um i did it to myself um <laughs> nate you're up oh boy with a mouthful with a mouthful um hmm. well i guess Go back and let's see. I know by, I mean, I've got him in a grapple. I'm going to keep him in the grapple. Um, Because my multi-attack says that I have to. Uh, oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Hybrid form. In hybrid form, it can substitute a bite for one melee attack. I don't have to do a bite. So can I just stab him twice? Sure. I'd very much like to stab him twice. All right. Let's see how that goes. Fuck. That's an 11. (laughs) That's an 11. All right. Well, I guess I'll try again. Hey, better. Much better. Better. That's a double. Okay. Uh, Oh, wait. I would get advantage because I had him in a grapple, right? Um, and I would because, so, and yes. because he has yes. because he doesn't have all his hit points. Oh shit! Well then, that's my first roll. And with advantage, I got a crit. <laughs> okay, uh, eleven points of damage with the crit. You should use your sneak attack on this one too. Plus fourteen. That's seven doubled. Okay. Now the second attack. Hold first on, add, roll. Oh, add that all up. Eighteen. Okay. All right. Now, the second attack, first roll, is a 14. And we're not going to talk about the second roll. So I'm pretty sure a 14 is going to miss. Okay. I, sorry. Are you? I hate to be. Oh, what did I, I hate to ask this. So when you, when someone is restrained, then attacks against them have advantage. But it doesn't say when someone is grappled that attacks against them have advantage. If they didn't break the grapple, they are restrained, correct? Well, or take even, control of the grapple because somebody reg- well, regardless. Give me a second. If, if he doesn't have all of his hit points, I get advantage anyway. Oh, okay. Right. All right. So it, that doesn't matter. Yeah. No, that's fine. I'm, I still want to look this up though. I'll sure, keep question, going. Though. The question though is whether you get your second hit if you're still holding him in the grapple, because it says you can eschew one for the other. But if you're using it to maintain the grapple, do you get a second attack? Oh, it won't matter point. in this instance because you missed with your other attacks anyway, and the first one would have been your prime attack, which would have been with advantage. So those that still goes off. The yeah. 14 and the 11, depending wouldn't on the count. ruling. Yeah, well, it depends, count. because is he actively trying to remove himself from the grapple? If he does, then you have to use the grapple to maintain your grapple. 
But if he's not trying to break free, if he's just stabbing at you. Yeah. Also, the visual I'm in my head, I'm trying to draw what this looks like. And it looks like two sharks making out and then stabbing <laughs> each other in the sides. Like I, I imagine I've come down and I bit him like here on the shoulder, in between the shoulder and the, the neck. The right shark's here. shoulder. The shark's shoulder. Well, I mean, we have like No, I, I get that, but you get what I mean. Like, you're telling yeah. it's not yeah, making it any clearer. That's what I, I'm saying. I, I it, isn't Draga a hammerhead, so is could it be like you can bite his eye? <laughs> I can, oh, uh, bite yeah, his eye, he gets but, a disadvantage, uh, and then you can you can poke at it with your tongue. I'll give you advantage uh, if you lick his eye. Ew, <laughs> that sounded dirtier than it was. Honestly, yeah, yeah. it did. It did. I'm like really oh. uncomfortable now. <laughs> um, your crew against the last two. Uh, I should have four standing, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, In which case, I'll have one attack the first one. Uh, He rolled 10. Okay. Uh, One attack the second one. He rolled a five. And then at that point, yeah, I think I'm just going to have everybody come over and just start stabbing the shit out of Draga. So (laughs) let's do two on Draga. The first one is a 19. Okay. And a 19. All right, give me D6s. Love to. How many? Two? A three and a two. Okay. All right. And then, um, all right. And then it's their turns. Okay. We'll go with the two that's in the Spirit Guardians. Okay. They both failed again. 13. Radiant. Okay. That is a. Okay, the last crew member is dead, which just leaves the rat and Draga. Um, sure that thing is not like a were cockroach, because damn, he's been able to survive for a long time. <laughs> Draga shouts out a divine word. Is it surrender? Uh, no, I need yeah. um charisma saves from you, and um, your homies on them. Charisma save. All right, mm-hmm. well, I'll go ahead and roll for me first. Let's just see how bad this is. Okay, fifteen. It doesn't sound horrible. But no, probably... you 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 passed his uh. Okay. Is DC 13. So Okay. So now I'll make the two straight D20. That was with my charisma saving throw modifier. Here are the mm-hmm. straight D20 rolls for the other guys. That's a 16, so that should be an auto pass. Okay. He's good. And a 19. <laughs> nice. Hey. If you I... if you would have failed at 50 hit points or fewer, you would be deafened for a minute. Uh, 40 hit yeah. points or fewer, deafened and blinded for 10. Ooh. 30 Blinded, deafened, and stunned for an hour, and 20 points or less, you're dead. Ooh. I don't know what that is, but I don't like it. Oof. Hopefully he no. only ca- can cast that once. He can I got one more. Every round. <laughs> I got one more. Um, but no, yeah, you, you can you literally like feel it in your bones for about a moment before it, it, mm. it you're able to actually like fight it off and shake it off and realize. This asshole's trying to summon divine energy. Oh, not good. So, but he's unable, or he chose to do that instead of trying to break the grapple against you. So, yeah. Um, God damn it. The grapple's not a saving throw, it's a, it's a check. Yeah. So, okay. So you need um, a. Okay, Mr. Rat. What do we got? Wait. Oh, no, the rat already rolled. Is the rat in melee with me? Technically, he's within range of you, yeah. 
Okay. Yeah, that's that's where I'm I'm going down his spell list and I'm <laughs> not liking it. All the spells are get killed this turn, get killed next turn, <laughs> be killed, mm -hmm. drown yourself. Try to step away, For get killed. Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah, there there's no real way out of this. Um Bust the poison capsule in your tooth. Ah, <laughs> uh, all right. Throw yourself on ground. Beg for mercy, Captain. It's been an honor. He aims both hands at the ground and fireballs directly at your feet. Oh Fucking no! Hey, that's my guy. <laughs> he rolls a save on himself. That's got to be it. This is right. Oh, oh yeah, no, he, he's, he's not passing. Your feet. Right. Yeah, no, he, he's not Do passing. Do I have a reaction? Do I have a reaction? He willfully committed. Do <laughs> I have a reaction? And oh, I, can I level up a fireball in in five e? Oh god, I have no. Yeah, reactions. you can add dice to it. No. All right, reaction. we're doing it. Oh no. Um, let's mm -hmm. let's let's see. Um, I I think there's a fucking limit on it though. I know in 3.5 there's a limit on fireball. Oh, no, no. It just says 1D socks for slot. So we're going to shoot this bastard uh... at 8. It's highest spell. So um, it starts off at 8D6. Fuck you all up. <laughs> and by the way, if, if you're in range, you can't dodge out of it, even if you can see it. Um, It's 20-foot radius. It's just gonna barely miss fucking. Actually, no. This is gonna take off the neck, the other side of the ship with the with the uh, barrels. I'm sorry, Nate. God damn it! She lost a horse. She lost a ship. Um. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll bring the ship back. <laughs> uh, please, please, uh, dude, get, check this out. You gotta check this out, dude. Hold on. I got this um this awesome book called Ultimate Beast Theory. Oh, no. It's the dreaded accursed. And there is a ghost ship stat zombie ship of a haunt. Yep, it's right here. Five hundred and seven hit points. Ugh. Fuck. Damage threshold. The ship does not take damage from any hit that deals less than twenty damage. Wow, that's nice. Phantom crew. I mean, we can bring uh, that ship back for me. I'm not going to complain. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um. Uh, this thing's Fuck. insured, so... Okay, so it starts with an 8d6, and then he's going five levels up to add another 5d6 on top. You gonna roll a dex check on that, or... Dex can you? save? Yeah. Right? I mean, you mm -hmm. should be able to, to take half damage? Yeah. Who? Adri. I, I assume me, because I'm well, yeah. standing next to Oh, because you have the rogue ability, right? Yep. But, so, but Nate won't be able to take it because he's grappling. Well, it. Nate's out of range technically. If the ship blows he's, up, he, yeah. If the ship side of the ship goes, the whole ship's going down. Eh. Oh god, that's awesome. Where the are you first... fighting Where? in the water? They're right off the docks. Yeah, I'm looking at the so... wrong. Okay, so the first one was 18 on the first four dice. The second four dice was 15 the third four oh shit 19 and then one more d6 a six rachel gonna explode i think i am 58 I damage rachel okay. done exploded this is a <laughs> dexterity save um yes on a 15 rachel don't have death ward 12 Oh. Death ward went away. Oh. The ship goes. Did she so, go to sink to fifty-eight oh, no. damage? Right. Yep. Yeah. So that was that's the initial. Lucky to die. Okay. So many ways for right. to explode. <laughs> Guess you should have given me my languages. <laughs> Fuck that bitch. Uh, <laughs> so at this Sorry. point, <laughs> even, when he says, "Captain, it was good serving with you," and he fires down to the feet. <laughs> Nate, you're close enough to see Draga's one eye on the side of the hammerhead just go wide like, no! <laughs> Oops! Explosions riddle through the side of the fireball initially blows that part of the front ship. It hits the, the powder. It Ugh. blows. The side of the ship goes. Part of the docks go. And everybody, give me um, 
Give me cons. <sighs> Saving throws. Yes, and then uh, dexterity is after the con. Actually, no, dexterity is first thing cons. Okay, well, I rolled a con save already, and it was a 19. Okay. All right, hold on to that. My deck saving That's going to keep you awake. My deck saving throws a 15. Okay. Uh, sorry, just a second. Um... If you're grappling him and you deck save, does he deck save? I don't know. <laughs> when I save, you save? <laughs> just like that. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Or you could swing him around in front of you so he takes oh. the damage. Just throw his body in front of the blast. That's kind of a cool looking aqua battle. I could do that. Just kind of ah! <laughs> Just grab him by his eye. If you would like to use do a strength check to force him in front of the blast. I'd very much like that, please. <laughs> All right. I will allow that. That's a straight up sta- uh, strength? Where would that be um, athletic? No, I- no, I don't. It'd be a grapple, um, grappling check, right? Yeah, grappling. Because you're both so athletics? Grappling. Yep. Oh, boy, that's at a plus nine. Oh, good. Please. Just, you got him. Just keep, right, keep, I got keep, it. Keep, he has a um, a 12 Woo! plus six. Ooh. 18. <laughs> what was yours? 27. There you go. All good right. thing you don't know any extra languages. That might have been way harder. <laughs> All right. Oh, Rachel <laughs> changed her name in the chat to R.I.P. <laughs> <laughs> She's a duck. She should be able to float on the water. No, because that vampire <laughs> took away my water walk. Yep, and now she's now she's literally just an anchor. Oh, <laughs> how buoyant is Hawks's body? Ah, <sighs> uh, okay. It won't matter. He'll float at the top, and she'll still be. Under what the... was? Uh, I need a second Dex from you. A Rick? second, a second Dex. Well, you, the the first one was for the fireball initial. The second one's for the ship blowing. Uh, that is much better than my first one. Twenty three. Okay. Um. All right. So the initial fireball blasts um Adri back. She's able to grab one of the crew's dead bodies as well, <laughs> pulls it up. And you smell burnt shark as you're getting blasted off the side of the ship into the water with the shrapnel wood. Do I um, have time for a reaction? Are you faster than the speed of speed In of a explosion? second, because your turn's coming up next. Okay. I don't know. Technically, <laughs> technically, yeah, you would have a reaction. I was going to say, what, is it, I mean, what? Yeah. Is it the deck save? Technically, the reaction yeah. to, I mean, that's um, oh. yeah, I'm sorry. Well, no, no a deck I save think... isn't a reaction because you could still have something that triggers a reaction. That's and true. you can only use one reaction typically per turn. Per turn. Okay, so you save, <laughs> the explosion goes off, right? You dodge the initial explosion with your with your reaction. Your no, save. my initial dexterity was a 12, so I took 58 She took the fireball damage. damage. Yeah. Right, right, as the ship blew. Mm-hmm. She gets the reaction secondary. after the first before the barrel, but it's like a chain reaction. Boom, boom, right? And she took a second save, correct? Uh, I'm, means... I'm giving Nate the same with the uh, putting Draga between him and the blast. Yeah. That's um, fair. Okay, yeah, I guess that's fair. So, okay. what was the reaction? So I would like to argue then no, oh, a reaction. Yeah. <laughs> as a, reaction, I'd like to argue. As okay. a war caster, I can use my reaction typically to, to make an opportunity attack, but that can be used to cast a spell. So I'd like to use my reaction as a war caster to cast a spell. You want to cast water walking. I want to cast water walking myself. <laughs> <laughs> yes, David. I very actually, much, yes. I very you know what? Like cast water I, I will let myself. you cast water walking. <laughs> Okay. Wait a minute. Does I'm, she have to I'm pass have a concentration check since she's reacting before the explosion goes off, the second one? Then when the second one Why goes off, she a... has to pass a concentration check. Why would she that be a hit? concentration check? Well, water no, walk, concentra- water walk concentration... isn't a concentration. Oh, okay. Cool. Okay. No, no. Go for it. Cast water walking. Sorry, I'm just trying okay. to put you at the bottom of this ocean. <laughs> oh, no. I'm going to have more fun with this. I cast water walk. She, she falls in the water. As you cast like... water walk... We're going to get to Nate in a second, but um, so <laughs> the first blast goes off the ship, you know, blasts you back. The second one goes off. You pull the body. 
it hits you cast water walking as you're flying and you begin to skip yourself full armor <laughs> across the water <laughs> because your water walk spell yep. here goes the duck rolling yep. across the water that is fucking ridiculous <laughs> <laughs> Um, Rain, you see the blast go. Draga's eye goes wide. He screams no. You know the powder hits. You get him in front. He screams no again as the back of him flares up with fire. Mm -hmm. Throws you back. And as you see this (laughs) off the side. (laughs) Make a wish. Where you perfectly dives. (laughs) I'd say before I hit the water, I'll probably have gone into full full shark form um i just envisioned there'd be this free willy scene of like adri skips across water sinks and all of a sudden i'm not gonna sink water all right well it just would have been fun to like you know right on (laughs) i am in i am in armor i am not sinking okay i like the i like the idea of rachel happening Rachel at the bottom of the ocean going Someone didn't play Sega. I just now realized that T Walk changed his name. (laughs) I thought it was well fitting. You put Shark Boy, he put Lava Girl. I want the director. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, damn, hold on, I gotta, I gotta mentally the rest of this. Um, hey, can you check your chat real quick? Me? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Also, my phone's at six percent, so, so it's just, it's, it's getting there. So let me know if you message me with anything. Otherwise, I got to close it. <laughs> um, no, not oh, yet. Okay. No. My okay. ship is okay, um, right? No, oh, no, your ship's fine. You're, you're. <laughs> yeah, no. Brendan has not got the signal to lower the ship into cannon fire range, and um, oh, Cargillis okay. is like hell gonna let that ship go anywhere that far down south he just saw that ship blow up and he's like yeah nope nope who the fuck nope. even set up a signal to put my boat in cannon range <laughs> i did why <laughs> how else are we gonna get back on the ship well hey i'm glad you skipped across the fucking ocean and now you can't <laughs> give a signal i can still give a signal <laughs> cutscene on the top that music is tense. Yeah. Yeah, it is. There's a lot of there's a lot of things in video games that'll make you feel the pressure, but nothing feels quite like that. I'm running out of oxygen as Sonic. Mm-hmm. Especially when you look and there's like, fuck, there's not a bubble around for me. Uh, there is. It's just like, oh, well, yeah. I'm screwed. He's telling, look at the hand gestures, like, skipped. <laughs> <laughs> the, like, low quality of David's camera with like how his tie dye shirt looks, it looks like yeah. he it keeps looking like he's wearing like a feather boa like straight down his chest. <laughs> I, it looked like on my on my <laughs> camera, it looks like he's not wearing anything down the center. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I thought he was wearing like a like a kind of like like an African priest a, a dashiki. Oh, yeah. yeah, I thought yeah. it was, yeah. It was a dashiki. That's exactly what I thought it was. Uh, Sorry to disappoint. Yeah. <laughs> Next time I'll do the full like Tom Selleck just open chest. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Tom Selleck. Uh, uh, all right. Um, well, there's driftwood of the sea bitch still up. That's nice. Um, that part blue. 
the the masts and about half the ship kind of tilted forward and now the masts have hit the dock and so uh, part of it's still kind of holding in place okay i mean this part um, of the bay shouldn't be all that deep right no okay um the the surviving crew of yours is catching the ones that went down and trying to bring their bodies back up uh -huh. so the unconscious brothers don't drown in their own messed upness okay so um Draga doesn't have any crew left right here. His ship's now actually trying to get closer with you know, the, the minimal crew he has left trying to... Hey, the way I'm rolling D20s, you might not want to do that right now. I, I would strongly <laughs> suggest you just keep your ships away. Um. Uh, yeah, Draga's hit the water sizzling uh, from mm -hmm. burnt back and just the whole shitstorm of back you left them with. So, Oops. um, so AJ, your turn as you stop rolling across the water. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, I no longer have spirit guardians going. I could not make the, the <laughs> concentration check for that amount of damage. Um, okay. This episode should be called mm. Duck Confit. <laughs> well, I don't need any of those cards anymore. <clears throat> These cards anymore. They're all dead. Okay. Uh how far am I from the burning wreckage of range ship? Twenty seven feet. Oh, I didn't go very far. I rolled two D twenties. Okay. <laughs> I didn't go very far. I didn't go very far. You've never rolled twenty seven feet before. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, what, it hurts. What, what did you think happened in in your visualization? Did you just like skip across the water for like? Yeah, miles? yeah. There was an explosion like five feet in front of me. What is your hit point? Uh, I'm in double digits. That's a, that's not very specific. <laughs> more than more than ten, less than a hundred. I... Oh, but Deese always lives under a hundred. Yeah, that's I true. I'm I'm frequently within that under a hundred range. Uh, I think I'm gonna cast a fourth level cure wounds on myself. Well, that gives us some context. <laughs> yeah, that, that says something right there. Uh, okay, so that's four d eight plus. Um, Did you have fourth level spells left? This is my last fourth level spell. My spell casting modifier plus my life cleric divine domain two plus the spells level. I'm like okay. the Tucker Carlson of watching your guys' combat. I'm just asking questions. <laughs> I'm not trying to cause any problems. I'm just asking uh, questions. Uh, 4d8 plus 11. All right. You okay, Nate? Yeah, I'm just getting really tired, sorry. Okay, so no, I heal I myself you, for 29. And if she healed herself for 29, what does that mean <laughs> about her total life total? <laughs> I'm still in double digits. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, And then I'm going to... So that was my action to heal myself. I'm going to stand up, which is half my movement. <laughs> and I'm going to start <laughs> jogging back to the, the ship. As another barrel goes off, <laughs> sensor. Right as she gets back to the ship. Um, so I will <laughs> use the rest of my movement to get to the ship, and then um I still have my bonus action, which if I see anyone struggling in the water, uh I'm just gonna I'm just casually standing on the ocean. I'm just gonna like reach out and try to like help upright them. They can't I can't help them stand on the water as well, but like if I see somebody struggling, I'll just kind of like reach down and hold their hand. They cannot pull me right. under. Grab them by the back of their shirt and just start <laughs> dragging them through the water. I thought well, she was gonna. Yeah. I thought she was gonna whop them with like <laughs> her weapon. No, she's hit them with a bag uh, full of hawks. Uh, Lindy's actually has his hand around the two brothers or one of the brothers trying to keep him up. And you want some help? Very much, Smith. Okay. What happened what to your arms? Oh shit! I left that back on the boat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you'd hold him, I'll go catch his brother. Hopefully, he hasn't sunk too deep. Okay. 
I'll just grab the one and <laughs> he dives deeper for the other one. Throw him over my shoulder. All right. Um. So we'll get back to him diving Lindy to get the other one. Um. You see, you're able to head count the rest of Rain's crew. Mm -hmm. Rain, where are you at the moment? <laughs> uh, presumably in the water as right. a shark. Yep. Where's Draga's body at right now? Um, he too has gone full shark mode. I see. Mm. And you can see like half, it's a weird look underwater to see a half burnt shark mm. swimming hammerhead style. Good, good thing I like my fish blackened. Mm -mm -mm. Blackened tilapia. Yeah. <laughs> My brother says it like that all the time now. He ordered a uh, black and tilapia in front of his friends, and they all went black and tilapia, please. And now, every time he says it, he says it like that. Uh, we do have a bit of a issue here. That we're both sharks. We're both were sharks. Shark goes in the water. Other shark goes in the water. Neither one of them can do damage to one another now. Um, huh. Doesn't mean you can't try to bite your cleric for and turn her to a worse shark. Oh, <laughs> shit. I think I'm gonna. Where, duck? Ugh. <laughs> 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 Okay, that's kind of scary. She, I don't know if I want to do that now. <laughs> D walk. Mm -hmm. Are there any more? Are there any more powder barrels floating on the water? There is. I'm a shark, but I probably could do a pretty good impression of a seal. I'd like to oh my god. I'd like to try and get one of those <laughs> powder barrels in his mouth. Oh boy. And this is we walk in the Sea of Galilee. Oh, this <laughs> Jesus. This is is this oh the, god. Is this oh, the shit. ending of Jaws? This is the cantrip fucking sparks moment <clears throat> to shine. Okay. Um sure, give me fuck the slide a mouth check what the fuck. Um how are you going to put how are you going to push this shit in his mouth? Is he still stunned? I mean, is he Um yeah, yeah, he is he's stunned. I'll give um he's still trying to recover from getting completely burned the fuck. I like... I basically I want to whether I need to grab the powder barrel in my mouth or if I need to just like push it with my nose. Um, the goal is just to get it to him and kind of combination shove it in his mouth and headbutt him to stun him. I'm not saying this is going to be easy. No, no. <clears throat> but I'm just, I'm just thinking. No, um, Shit. Because I don't know how um, else I'm going to damage him. No, no, I got you. You know, fuck it. Give me a series. Um, Give me 320s. Well, we know let's let's make this easy. Give me, we give me how, 320s. Hey, we we oh, know how boy. great this goes. All right, here comes the first one. That's an 11. Okay. Oh. I give up. No. What was it? A one? Okay, what's the third one? Well, it was a 20, and then it flipped <laughs> and it landed on an 8. If you add them all together, it's... 19. A it's 20. 20. Yeah, 20. Yeah, it, it is that. <laughs> <laughs> um... <clears throat> this doesn't work. It's okay. I tried. No, it's all good. Um, okay, so... Um... I mean, you you you're able to actually catch the barrel with your mouth originally, 
and you're able to push it towards them. And as you're going towards them, you kind of give a little too much English and you bust the barrel on both of you as you hit. And quasi stunning both of you. So you're I, muted. I, I'm willing to bet I have more HP than he does right now. I'm willing to bet that too. Um, because I'd also like to use my bonus action to cast to tease my second wind. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm gonna give myself a D10 plus eight just to help pad that a little bit. And that's eleven more HP, which I'll heal back gladly. Here's Rachel. Okay. <clears throat> <laughs> one of those bags has hawks in it and the yeah. other bag also uh, oh. has hawks in it <laughs> uh, all my right. kids are still not happy you guys killed hawks <laughs> I, I, I've done what I can do on this turn okay so all I can hope is that someone figures out what the hell's going on now because I can't Okay. Uh, well, I can't signal because I'm stunned. Adri, you just saw two sharks headbutt in the water hard. Okay. And something broke and splintered between them and shot black powder kind of all over the water in themselves. Okay. Well, based on what just happened with the ship that I was on, uh, I assume that I would know what the black powder is. Mm hmm. But also, it's now in the water, so wouldn't it be ruined? Some of it. Some of it. Okay. I mean, you won't get the full devastation of a powder barrel. You probably get a nice flash and eye burning, mouth burning. Rain, how are your hit points? <laughs> Remember, I'm this is Adrian, not Kestrel. I'm, Kestrel I'm... will just burn the fuck out of him. <laughs> I'm currently in triple digits. Okay. All right. Um, I and oh wait. Uh sorry, let me just check something real quick. You said that they were both stunned, David. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, so stunned creatures automatically fail strength and dexterity saving throws. Mm-hmm. So if I were to cast <laughs> something, say, Flame Strike, they would automatically fail their dexterity mm -hmm. saving throws. Would I, so Flame Strike is a 10 foot radius, 40 foot high cylinder. <laughs> would I be able to position it so that I did not get rain in the Flame Strike cylinder? Technically, they're both easily 12 foot sharks plus okay so yeah you you could position the the, the 10 feet not on him okay but the the flash of the powder may ignite on him anyway just for being in the area okay the initial well, spell won't hit but the the flash all right so i'm gonna kind of shift the weight of the guy that i've got on my shoulder and i'm gonna reach out and gesture and cast flame strike so he automatically fails his dexterity saving throw. Each creature within uh, is going to take uh, 4d6 fire damage and 4d6 radiant damage. Hmm. Well, meaning Draga is going to take. You need me to separate the damage types, David? Mm -mm. Okay. My notes are all over the place on this page. <laughs> okay, so that is a total of 28, both fire and radiant damage. Okay. Uh, is Draga still alive? He's awake. Okay. Uh, then for my bonus action... <laughs> Um, let's see. I would like to get a spiritual weapon. 
Sorry, I'm just looking at my bonus action spells. Okay, yeah. Uh, I'm going to fifth level spiritual weapon uh, and make an attack on him. He is still stunned. Mm. Attack rolls against stunned creatures have advantage. That's fun. Uh, let me actually check something on stunned quick. Okay. Because you just lit him the fuck up, so. I'm I've just gone down a rabbit hole <laughs> reading interviews about people who have dressed up as sharks. <laughs> In particular, <laughs> the left shark from the Katy Perry uh... Super Bowl commercial. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right. Um, no, yeah. Um, go ahead and have advantage. Okay. Uh, 26. Nice. Okay. 13. Force damage. Okay, 13. Yes. And I am almost out of spells. <laughs> so. Okay. Rain, if you could uh, finish this up. <laughs> I, I'd very um, much, I'd very much like to, in a way that allows me to consume his heart, please, if that is possible. Uh, and then for my move action, can I move to like either, uh, take the brother to shore or find like some sturdyish looking, floating wreckage that is not on fire to like lay him down on it. Um, you just use a bonus action to attack, right? Yes. And the the other action to cast flame strike. Yes. Okay. I, I guess yeah. Um. Yeah, you could walk over with the movement left over, and then drop the body. Okay. I just don't want to like drop him in the water. <laughs> no, I get it. Okay. All right, that's my turn. All right. Um. We'll we'll slide right back in a second. Um, Kavir, as you guys, um, no, you guys are about a, you guys are a day out still. Um, from the institute. Um, well, a day on your guys' timeline. Um, yeah, if it takes me a day to get there, then I don't know where we are temporally. Because we were sort of synced, but it would have taken me longer to get there. And I still have to convince them to open a portal. So so there's not going to be a whole lot of interaction here, I imagine. Okay. So, I mean, we're just flying there. And yeah. There's... Okay. Um, Rain? Up, you're up. Uh, so what now do I see before me? Do I see shit on fire and a very damaged shark, or what? Yes, what is, you know? no, yeah. The 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 water is um, <clears throat> as the term, chummed with blood. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, no, drag is there, dude. Burnt, burning, just. Torched. Can I no, see, he's still there. Can I, Go can for I it. see any of my men? Um, you see, as you look around, um, Adri just set one of them down. You can see the others. Lindy popped up the water with the other brother, got mm -hmm. him above the surface. The others are all kind of all just, you know, treading water, making their way to the dock. I don't have any weapon on me. Not in shark form. I don't have any weapons near me. Um, if I go back to humanoid form, then uh, that's my action, which would probably not be a great idea. <sighs> to attack him does nothing. I'm going to... I want to... Uh... Effectively, I want to try and re-grapple him and start dragging him back 
closer towards the docks and the shore. Okay. Um, go ahead and do a bite attack. Well, no, he he's gonna fail the grapple of stun. Okay. So technically, um, <clears throat> logistics, you have him to drag where you want. Okay. I'm gonna dry and I'm gonna drag him back over. Is it? I don't know if it's gonna be possible for me basically to like throw him up onto like some sort of floating piece of detritus or something like that. But ideally, I'm just trying to get him into a place where I could subdue him, get back into human form to where I can get a silvered weapon, because otherwise there's nothing I'm going to be able to do with him in the water as a shark, as a were shark at that, because right. I can't I can't do any additional damage to him without a weapon. Give me a, um, um, give me a strength or an athletics, your choice. Athletics. 14. It's not great. No, it's all good. Um, you push him over to some debris near where Adri's at, um, because that's kind of left where the rest of the boat's at. Yeah. You kind of do your little shamu underneath free willy shit, <laughs> and come up with your nose, um, with your strength popping him onto. You kind of, and not really like flip him up, but you kind of like hit him enough to roll him up over onto it. Okay. So he's sitting there just watching his gills go in and out without the water around it trying to. Okay. Um, and then if I have any action or movement left, then I would get up on whatever structure there is to. Um, well, no, I'll, I'll have to wait till my next turn. Cause I can't, I, I can't yeah. come out of, I can't come out of shark form just yet. So yeah, that, that's okay. what I do. That's what I do this turn. Okay. You get him up there. Um, Adri? Okay. Um, does it does it look like Rain kind of has this or he has like a plan? Well, he pushed him up out of the water and you can see him suffocating without the water going through his, lung, or his gills. So Rain could be just slow killing him. Right, but I mean, on his turn, couldn't he just turn back into mm -hmm. something with lungs? On his turn, he can. Okay. Well, Rain can. Um, once uh, Draga gets unstunned, I got to check on that in the next roll. Okay. Um. Uh, if I look around me, are there any more of Rain's uh, men, like either unconscious or struggling in the water? Um, most of them seem to be okay because the conscious ones have the unconscious ones, and they're dragging them. Okay. So. All right. Um. Then I guess I will walk across the water and join Rain in attacking Draga. Uh, can I get over to him in this turn? Well, the way you push him, you guys are close. Okay. Uh, then I will attack him. You said he is stunned. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I roll with advantage, which means I roll with elven accuracy. Uh, twenty six to hit. That hits. Okay. So that is this for the weapon. This for the sneak attack. This for the extra. Uh, radiant. Do I need to break up the radiant damage? Mm -mm. Okay. Uh, oh, this is not a great roll. Uh, 13 damage. Oh, wait, no, I'm sorry. 18 damage total. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to look over at Rain. If he, like, shifts back and needs help, like, getting out of the water or something, then I'll, um like help pull him out of the water if he if he needs it on his turn. All right. And I'll use my bonus action to move my spiritual weapon 20 feet closer to us. Okay. Um Draga's eyes blink enough that he switches um 
wakes up and he switches and he shifts back and begins to try to crawl, but he can't get too far. You, you notice as he switches back to human, he's his legs pretty much fried, his arms fried, half his face is gone. Um, his ring still sitting on his hand, almost melted into his hand. Mm, okay. But he doesn't get more than a couple of feet trying to crawl after shifting. You're up, Ryan. Um, action polymorph to go back into humanoid. Okay. Uh, and then use my movement to climb up onto the surface. Okay. Adria, avert your eyes. Um, and I'm going to look around for my men, and I'm just going to call out for a weapon. Or look around for a weapon to see if I can find one either sitting on top or if one of my men still have one of their silvered weapons on them. Uh, Milford throws you his cutlass. Perfect. I snatch it out of Or you can take Dragas. Hmm. I think it would be even I think it would be more poetic to take Dragas. Thank you. Uh of course. yes, I'll grab I'll I'll pull I'll unsheath his weapon. Um and uh I don't have any other actions for this turn, unfortunately. So I, I'm just going to yeah, I'll move over him. I'll uh I'll take his weapon. I'll try and roll him over onto his back. That'll be my turn. Okay. You flip him over on his back. He's just kind of looking up at you. Fuck. I'm just, I'm yep. just kidding. I'm heaving and spitting up water. I don't, I don't have a witty retort as of yeah, yet. Yeah, neither of you do. It's just <laughs> two old two sailors just looking at each other. Yeah. Like, yeah. This is this is how it fucking ends. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck you for using my own sword. <laughs> uh, fuck you for blowing up my boat. <laughs> uh, fuck Uh-oh. you for coming here. <laughs> you were here first. I know. But fuck you anyway. Uh, by the way, where are the keys to your ship? I start trying to pat him down. <laughs> <laughs> I think I uh, think I I may have an upgrade in my future. Uh, all right. Um, as they keep talking shit to each other, Adri. <laughs> um, I am going to take this moment to catch my breath, and um, use a harness divine power which is where I expend one of my channel divinities as a bonus action and regain an an expended spell slot up to level three, which I will be regaining a third level spell slot. Um, Does it look like uh, Rain is about to sort of deal the the final blow to Draga? Yes. Okay. Uh, I am tired. (laughs) <laughs> so uh I'm gonna go ahead and uh cast the signal for Brendan, uh, which is the th- a third level spell. So I use the spell I just regained, uh, and I'm just gonna hold up my hand and cast daylight. Cause I told Brendan to look for uh, a bright light. This is a 60 foot radius sphere of light. Um yeah, I'm just gonna like hold up my sword and cast it as I call for my Uber. That bitch put on a light show to fucking kill me. Draga's coughing out blood as he's talking. Hey, what can I say? I want a dinner and a show. So and let's see. Draga cast silence. So he can die in peace. Uh. 
That's okay. Your I don't turn. like. I, I I have no intentions of talking with yeah. my mouth full anyway. It'll be fine. All right, your turn, Ryan. Uh, I am going to take his weapon and I am going to proceed to cut his heart out. Gross. Well, I Can didn't make roll. up the rules. He's just going to look away. Yeah, I was. Well, yeah. hopefully you were averting your eyes already because I am very much um, in my birthday suit, as it were. You um, lose gross. your armor? I turned no. into a shark. Didn't all of my clothes and it kind of shifts just... with you? It... Yeah, does it shift with you? Throw... Yeah, the the polymorph action, I believe. Any equipment it is wearing or carrying isn't transformed. It reverts to its true form if it dies. Oh, okay. All right. Well, never mind then. Okay. Still I'm turn sorry. away because um, yeah, yeah, I'm not going to watch you do. It. Also, I I desperately want Kavir to show up at this moment of like <laughs> Adri and Rain standing <laughs> surrounded by a ship that's burning and sinking into the water while Adri's casting a giant ball of daylight as his ship like comes down to the bay. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what am What am I rolling exactly? Is it an attack roll or? Yeah, give me a give me a um. Yeah, give me an attack with dexterity. With advantage. <laughs> Thank Christ. <laughs> Thank the Adri of Galilee. Uh... <laughs> Kidding. Well, that's, that's it's a 12. It's not great. It's better than the one I rolled, but it's not great. <laughs> Cody's cut out his art. <laughs> it, it's not as pretty as you were planning it. Yeah, it wasn't as pretty as you were planning, but you you get it. Uh, all right. Well, I mean, I'm not I'm not hugely proud of what I'm about to do, but uh, I will I I will take a giant bite out of that heart. Om nom nom. As you do, like a slight. Blood squirts out, hits the back of Adri's armor. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> Sorry, I, I rolled in the dice, said it. <laughs> so, um, yeah, the, the battle scene's over for you guys. All right. Draga really can't function with the heart missing out of his chest. No, I, I imagine that would be a tad bit difficult. I believe with killing him, doesn't that reverse your lycanthropy? That's the way it was explained to me. I might, I, I hope that's the case. I'm going to be really well, disappointed if I find out in a couple of days if I try to shift, and I do <laughs> that <laughs> something's not right. Um, but. That was the expected end result of all of this. I I I, I like I like being a seafaring Genasi. I that's kind of where I'd like to stop that mm-hmm. necessarily. Uh, but yeah, that's it for that's it for that, I guess. Okay. Does Kavir show up? Does he walk out of like a sandwich shop? He's just been like <laughs> watching the fight the whole time, just like <laughs> eating a sub sandwich. I, I no, think... because if he was there, he would never have let that ship lower anywhere close <laughs> no. to you guys. Well, I just I thought it would be funny if he showed up and there's like this broken up ship in the water, and just because he like comes into the scene in a hurry, there isn't enough time for him to process what ship is in the water. Oh, no. so I'm see initial... the giant floating ship as I approach the city. <laughs> well, it's well, uh. I mean, it's blackened, right? I mean, isn't it? I, I don't yeah, know. but you guys brought it down to fifty feet above the water. <laughs> so I'm just true. like, mm. yeah. look, right. as long as it's okay and it's in good condition, everything yeah. will square itself away eventually. Do you walk? Is there another powder barrel somewhere? <laughs> <laughs> There's a few of them. You, you you had a few left over. I just was thinking if one just kind of randomly went like a Roman candle up into the air. Oh, I don't know, sixty feet. <laughs> just just to scare the crap out of us. <laughs> All right, are we? Boy, we're gonna hold be some here. Alterations to some contracts coming oh. up real soon. Do we're gonna hold here, and I'm gonna pick up with Kavir at the institute. 
Okay. okay. So I don't Thank have time goodness. to get on the ship and scry him before a long rest. <laughs> uh well if you scry now you'll just see uh I imagine well, well I, I don't mean... know where we're synced it anymore. He's just That's he, true. you're just okay. it's just gonna be yeah. in the middle of his never ending story moment. It was just me taking a dump <laughs> <laughs> at the institute. <laughs> Look close for details, Rachel. Where is he? Gross. <laughs> I can't. What's the wallpaper look like? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to look at this anymore. Do you, are there any other sensations you're picking up, like taste or smell? Ew. <laughs> taste? Are you picking up any taste, Rachel? No. <laughs> it's like taste the air like a lizard. <laughs> All right. I'm stopping recording. Oh thank God. I'm not. This is when all the good shit happens. <laughs> Thanks for listening to Freelance Heroism. We really appreciate you coming in and listening. We also really appreciate all the people who support our Patreon. By supporting the Patreon, uh, you're going to get behind the scene uncut clips that uh, you'll get to see sort of like maybe the tissue behind some of the edited, cleaned up content. And uh, you'll get that whenever we have a big block of it to drop, uh, as well as any updates or any information behind the scenes stuff. Uh, that we think the Patreons would like to know. So, if you'd like to support our Patreon and help us continue making the high-quality, high-octane podcast that you've come to expect, go ahead to uh, patreon.com forward slash freelance underscore heroism. Thank you. And as usual, the invoice is in the mail. I'm all right. I, I'm reading through some more Roddy Dangerfield jokes. Oh, that, that so good. is so good. It's like my kids are so smart. My son likes to uh, likes to scotch tape worms to the sidewalk and okay, the wait. birds get hurting us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <clears throat> uh, returned. Uh, a therapist told me, uh, told me and my wife we should talk more during sex. So last night, my wife called me from her hotel room. Uh, <laughs> oh. Fuck. Uh.